Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought I'd do um, Megan's special surprise because she, um, well, like she completed her party chart. But I'm um, also I'm probably gonna not upload this video when the day I'm filming it. I'm gonna pre-film this video and upload it while I'm on vacation because I'm trying to do that instead of uploading a video today. I'd rather have some for vacation. But anyway, um, so uh, Megan, I'll show you right now. And they did her first full row on her putty chart, as you can see. So, what I'm going to do for her is, um, well, she told me that she, I asked her if there was anything she wanted to do. And she said she'd like to read a book with me. So, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, she's going to choose a book and we're going to read it. So, let, I'm going to let her choose a book and we'll get back to you. Alright, so Megan wanted to read this book. So, we are going, it's the Meet Barbar, I think that's how you said, um, and his family, by Laurent de Brunhoff, I'm not gonna even try and say that again, because I'm gonna probably say it wrong, but, um, yeah, that, all the copyright goes to this person, and this is the, because, yeah, so anyway, I'm um, gonna sit here and listen, and I'm gonna read the book, so, One morning, Babar the king of the elephants opened his window. It's a sunny day. The leaves and the flowers seem to have opened overnight. Babar calls to his wife, Queen Celeste, and their three children, Pom, Flora, and Alexander. It's spring, he shouts. It's spring. Birds have built their nests in all the trees and bushes. They are busy, busily bringing food to, the, to feed their babies, who open their beaks wide. Babar's young cousin Arthur is riding his bicycle with his friend Sepir the monkey. I don't, these no, names are so weird guys, I can't read them. Stop, shouts Alexander suddenly. Arthur, you won't, you and Sepir will come and play with us. Babar lives in Celesteville, the city of the elephants. Today he was bought some beautiful cakes at the bakery. He's taken them to his dear friend, the little old lady. The old lady lives in Celesteville too. Baba sees he, her every day, and Cornelius, the oldest of the elephants, often has tea at her house. During the summer, Baba works hard in his garden. He is happy. The flowers and the fruits are especially beautiful this year. Baba waters the garden faithfully. The children help him in their own way. But the, that rascal Arthur loves to play tricks. On a very hot day, what fun it is to eat ice cream cones. Sapir the monkey is probably the greediest. The children like to watch Babar and Celeste play tennis. The ball goes ping against the tennis racket. On warm days, the elephants go bathing in the lake. They have fun playing with the hippopotamus. Sometimes Babar and Celeste go sailing. They love to glide silently over the cool water. Pushed by the wind, Flora asked her father to take the family for a drive in the car. Here they are riding through the countryside. The elephants have gathered around the Celesville band stand for the last concert of the summer. The school bus stops to pick up Pom, Flora and Alexander. They have to run to catch it. Hurry, we'll be late, calls Alexander. The old lady is their teacher. They are never bored in her classes, and she's not at all strict. Pom and Alexander play soccer with the other young elephants. They try to kick the ball very hard. Winter has come already. The Baba family is ice skating. Baba and Celeste skate gracefully to the music, but Pom and Alexander try to skate as fast as Arthur. Pom has fallen and hurt his knee. Celeste calls the doctor, Capelus, right away. He comes to take care of the little elephant. This is not too serious, he says. Pumps could, pumps could heal by the time the family goes to the mountains to ski. The, the, they all arrive at the railroad station. Quick, the train is going to leave, the pair calls. In order to climb the top of the mountain, they have to take a funny little cart that goes straight up the steps, steep slope. The mountain is covered with snow. Even the fi fire, fire trees are white. 
Baba and Arthur have already put on their skis. They are gliding down the ski run at, all, <clears throat> at full speed. The wind whistles in their ears. So let's take the children to see the big ski jumping contest. Baba soars off a ski jump flying like a bird. When I'm when I'm big, I will jump too, Alexander thinks. Alexander. <clears throat> the snow falls in huge flakes. No skiing today. This is good for day. For, this is a good day for a snowball fight. Paman and Alexander decide to make a snowman. Whom does he look like? Baba, Baba of course. The Baba family has returned to Salisville in time for the Christmas. For Christmas. The moon is shining on the whole countryside. Palm Thor and Alexander stay, stand by the window, hoping to catch a glimpse of Santa Claus. This is cute. Okay, um, so that's the end. Um, I did get confused a few times because I um I don't really know why, but I just get confused sometimes. So I'm um, sorry about that. But um, also because I was kind of reading it through the camera, so I was getting like a bit dizzy. Um. But anyway, um, and also some of the names were a bit difficult to say, but, um, and also sorry if I said anything wrong, I did get confused with the word, but anyway, it doesn't matter, because, um, I think Megan enjoyed it. Did you enjoy your special surprise, Megan? Yeah, I loved it so much. So, um, Megan really enjoyed her special surprise, and this is what she wanted, like, some of you guys might think it's... Like, not fair that, um, for example, I think it was Elsa that got to go shopping, and then um, Megan's just reading a book, but that's what Megan wanted. Um, Megan really wanted to read a book, and she read it, but she loves to read, and she loves books. Anyway, so I think we're going to end this video here, so do you want to end it, Megan? Yeah, I enjoyed my special surprise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the next video. Bye!